everybody, welcome back to my channel and I just want to show you guys my small CVS haul. Now I thought it was going to be a good CVS haul, it ended up turning out great, but then after I looked at the receipt after I got home, I'm kind of pissed off on what happened. Um, but let me just show you guys what I got. So I ended up using those $2 off coupons from the Garnier. These were two for $7. You used those two $2 off coupons. You guys would pay $3. Then you get a $3 ECB back, making these free, which is a good deal on that. I love hearing the word free. Um, I had a coupon for $0.25 cents off the Dawn soap and then there was a 25 cent off coupon on the app so you guys would end up paying I think I didn't even write this down why did I not write this down oh you guys would end up paying 49 cents for this now when I looked at my receipt the cashier never took 25 cents from the app so I ended up paying 74 cents off of this so this isn't really a big deal for me but I'm kind of pissed off that it did not take it off and I even shorter to that so I got that then I a dollar off um, a bag of chips so I got these potato skins these were a dollar so I got these for free that I had from the red box I also had a dollar fifty off coupon from the red box so I just buy these 99 cent birthday cards so it's 99 cents um, what I've done in the past is it's supposed to take a dollar off but at the register either the chips or the card did not take off so I don't know why, but I should have gotten that for free. And then I ended up getting these uh, gold emblem abound cinnamon, apple cinnamon fruit chia bars. These are on sale for 99 cents. I had those $2 off snack coupons. So I got these absolutely for free. So those were all. All the items that I got at um, CVS. Now, um, the the dollar off coupon for either the chips or the cards didn't come off, and she and the twenty five cent off coupon didn't come off. Well, then what happens is I gave her five dollars ECBs. With somehow I had an, another five dollar ECB that she grabbed, and I don't remember giving it to her. So I ended up getting five. I ended up using five dollars in ECBs, and then one of my other five dollar ECBs just got deducted for a dollar seventy one, which I'm kind of pissed off about because I could have bought three dollars worth of more stuff that I could have gotten for free. So I just lost three dollars worth of ECBs for nothing, and I'm just kind of ticked off about it. And there's nothing I can do. But I called them, and I'm like, hey. Uh, I don't remember giving it to her. She's like, we have it, but I don't remember giving it to him. I don't know how she got it, but I, she ended up scanning it. So my total came out to zero, and I just had to pay 35 cents. So I'm not complaining about my total, but um, I had a dollar off coupon that didn't come off. I had another 50 cent off, or another 25 cent coupon that didn't come off, and then I ended up losing three dollars and. 29 cents worth of extra bucks which I said I was pissed off about so this kind of came out to, I mean it says I saved a hundred percent um I don't know but then I also got that three dollar register or three dollar ECB so I don't know what would you guys do in this situation they can't do anything at the store I'm kind of pissed off because I lost five dollars that I never gave to him I don't know how she got it but it scanned it and I lost three dollars and then two of my coupons didn't print off so I'm just kind of ticked off about it but I would say this is a successful shopping trip I'm just kind of um, CVS to me lately has been kind of lame I don't get really good any personal coupons at all nothing for shampoo conditioner and stuff and it's just like I feel like my my stuff's been going lower and lower on shopping and Walgreens has stepped it up so I don't know um, I'm just at the point where I like shopping at CVS, but they just, it's not worth driving there. It's a 20 minute drive for me, and I don't know if it's worth driving there all the time unless I'm on a different side of town and go to a different CVS. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on that situation, if I should call the store manager and see what I should do. I mean, he knows me, and I'm not, I sh and it's not the cashier's fault, but I'm just kind of ticked off. But, uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my small CVS haul, and I will see you guys all another time. Bye-bye.